Hello everyone, Manoj here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss how we can learn from the world's best universities from the comfort of our home for free. Yes, we are going to see how we can learn from Stanford and Harvard professors online for free. So let's get into the video. Stanford and Harvard are the world's best universities. They are, they are the best universities in the world. Every year they are in the top five, right? So we are going to see how we can learn from Stanford and Harvard professors from free uh, online. So let's get into the video. So I'll attach all the links in the description. So feel free to check out those links. So Stan the website is online.stanford.edu. So here you will find a lot of courses, but I'm going to personally recommend you a set of courses which will help you to get started. So the first course is design your career, right? So for every individual career is very important because if you choose the right career option, then your life is like settled, right? Because when you're doing a job that you love, you'll, you'll never hate the job, correct? So you'll never hate the job. So that's why when you, uh, so this course will help you use as a design thinking approach to help people of any age and academic background to find what career opportunity will suit them. These are thought by experts like from the Stanford Life Design Lab and you should definitely check out this course. And if you're someone who is just starting your career in computer science, you want to become a software developer. So this course is a very basic course on computer science. So till now you, you don't know anything about softwares and you don't know how computer works. You should definitely check out this course, how computer understand codes, how computer hardware works. So chips, CPUs, memory, disk, etc. Uh, like bits, bytes, megabytes. So if you if you are from a biology background and you you're still still not had a computer science as a subject during your school days and you are you are taking computer science as a major in engineering, you should definitely check out this course. It will help you a lot, as it will help you to like learn all the basic concepts and be clear when you learn other advanced concepts like programming during your college days. The next course I would recommend is algorithm design analysis part one course. So in this course, you'll discuss, uh, you learn about algorithm. So algorithm is a set of instructions that you give to the computer, right? Like what the computer needs to do. So the main, main part why we have how the algorithm should be written is it should run faster, like with higher efficiency, but should consume lesser memory. Right? Then only uh, algorithm is considered as a good algorithm. So in this, in this algorithm course, you learn about practical algorithms and data structures and how do data structures like heaps, hash tables actually work. So before this course, I would say like you should do a short crash course on data structure. I would also attach uh, a crash course link on data structure in the comment. And then you should take this course. You should understand the basic data structures before you coming here. Like, like let's say linked list, arrays, etc. And how you can take this course is very simple. So first you need to uh, go to the course which you want to take and click on enroll now button. And once you click on enroll now button, it will open like the course era. And here you can enroll for free. Like you can audit the course or, or you can like uh, sign up for it. You can enroll for free, audit the course. So there's an audit option available or you can apply for financial aid. So where you get a certificate for completely for free. Like you can say, I'm a student. This is why I cannot pay for the course, etc. So I would make a separate video for how to write a financial aid for Coursera. But most of the courses are EDX. So in EDX, it's very simple. You just need to click on enroll now button and it will take you to this screen. You can click on enroll to go to the course. Yeah. So here you'll not get a certificate. It's completely free. But if you want a certificate, you need to like uh, upgrade or pay for that. But all the content is completely available and you can learn from that. The second course I would recommend is algorithm design and analysis part two. So once you have understood the part one, so once you understood what basics of computer science and basics of programming, then 
data structures and algorithm then design and analysis part 1 then part 2 in part 2 you learn about greedy algorithm other advanced algorithm and analysis concepts next is cryptography right cryptography is a very important in, uh, concept in 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 the area of protecting our information right we have a lot of informations like our uh, like very important information like credit card details or our id card let's say aadhar card number or many banking related financial information that are protected using cryptography so any hacker cannot directly access the information they need a key to decode the information and get the exact data behind that information right so let's say if it's manoj it it's not stored as manoj in the database it it will be stored as 23516 something like that once you decode that you get the name manoj right so if you want to understand how cryptography works and if you are interested in ethical hacking data security you should definitely watch this course so the next course is databases relational databases and sql so all the applications we use have data right you either interact with the data like you add data or you update the data or you view the data correct so let's say in case of amazon right i'm viewing the data first i enter a query hey show me just uh, mobiles just iphone right then i then i say add this iphone into cart etc so right so these informations are stored in a database database is where a collection of tables have relationship between them and sql is a structured query language which helps you to interact with the database so this is a very important course you should definitely take this course if you want to become a developer um, android developer web developer etc so now we have completed all the stanford courses i would also show you a quick demo on how it will work so click on open and once you click on open it shows enroll so first you need to sign up for edx So once you click on enroll it will say okay you can click on access this course for free that's it so once you once you access this course it has a combination of like videos quizzes blogs etc and also exercises so it's very power packed hands on doing and you can learn from the best professors in the world right So now let's come into Harvard Harvard also Harvard online also offers a lot of online courses but i here also i'm picking a set of courses which will help you a lot i'll attach all the links in the description of each course and also like from where you can access all the courses so the first course is introduction to game development from childhood we have been really loving games we love to play games like in my childhood i used to play mario angry birds etc temple run that kind of games right so now now the games have evolved now very like advanced games have come which which have lot of capabilities like the players have lot of capabilities social gaming etc right so in this course you will learn the basics of game design the game design principles 2d and 3d interactive games like principles of 2d and 3d graphics what is the programming language used to build games so if you if you want to become a game developer you should definitely check out this course statistics and r if you have an analytics mindset and if you want to become an analyst data analyst etc or if you want to get into data science statistics and r will help you a lot so this course tells about the basics of statistical concept and r programming skill so r is a programming language which is used uh, in in data analysis data visualization mainly along with python so you should definitely check out this course so they tell about exploratory data analysis random variable distribution the the concepts of statistics and the next course is cs50 introduction to computer science this is one of the best computer science course available in the world i would say that because it teaches from the basics to concepts like programming concepts and also html css etc after this course you will be able to kick start your career very easily in in computer science like you'll have a idea okay i've learned the basics now now what what next should i do so this course is available even in edx and uh, like you can simply access click on uh, learn more then click on enroll now that's it otherwise it's also available in the cs50 youtube channel but apart from that it has other content like introduction to python programming javascript like introduction to ai with python python and javascript web programming etc so recently 
This video is getting uploaded in the free code camp YouTube channel. So it's like a 24 hour plus course. You should definitely check it. So here they teach about the basics of computer science to art of programming, like how you should think like a programmer, how you should understand the programming concepts where you will be using it. So this is one of the best course. You should definitely check it out. I would recommend all the college students who have just started who are in first year to check out CS50 course. So these are the courses and let me know like uh, like which course you like the most and after you have done do likes do comment your feedback like how how was a course hey thanks a lot for watching this video do like share and subscribe to my youtube channel do share this video with your friends and all the students who have just started their engineering and uh, they want to learn from stanford and harvard and also early career professionals who are planning to shift to software development or want to access these kind of world's best resources for free online right so thank you and have a nice day